Hey YouTube, uh, this is another unboxing video. It's another computer unboxing. <clears throat> I got myself another one. Alright, I got this one from Best Buy because the one from Walmart, as you can tell in my last video, which is listed right there if you want to go back and watch it if you missed it, it's the computer I got from Walmart. As you can tell, I wasn't happy with it. So we got another one with the Best Buy. Alright, we'll go ahead and here's the box. I'll read some stuff off to you. It's an HP as well. All right. Now the other one had an A4 processor, 500 something like that. It was a 1.5 gigahertz quad core. <clears throat> this one a little bit better. It's still cheap. It ain't perfect, but all I'm wanting it for is video editing anyhow. So this work. It gives me more options for upgrades and things like that. And another thing I like that I don't like about Walmart, yes, they have laptops set up that you can look at. That's all fine and dandy, but when it comes to computer cases and things like that, I like to see that too. So usually having the display out so you can see it, you know, customers like that, stores should do that, but Walmart, they don't seem to do that. So basically when you buy a computer from Walmart, like a desktop, you're buying it blindly because half the time they don't have anything on the box. Like the other one, it had some stuff on the box, but that was it. You had no idea what kind of anything was there because you didn't, you couldn't see it. So this one, I actually looked at this case. It's the same case that the other one's in, so you ain't gonna see nothing different there. But when we open it up, you'll see more stuff that I like because I can expand it. Okay. Um, this also has the AMD quad core. It's the A8 6500, so that's a three gigahertz processor. 64-bit processing. This also has 8 gig DDR3. I also bought another stick of RAM for this, so I have a total of 16 gigs in it. Uh, two terabyte hard drive comes with this. All right, this PC, as you can tell from the size of the box, it didn't come with a monitor. So we'll see what's else inside. They said there is a keyboard and mouse with it as well. That's fine. I didn't need the monitor. I already have a monitor. Uh, it has wireless LAN. 802.11 BGN. Um, it also has a multi DVD burner, 71 media card. I mean, pretty much the same thing as the other one. AMD Radeon HD 8570D graphics. It has USB for the keyboard. Um, cheap sound. It's got the key. Uh, it does say on here keyboard and mouse, so it does have keyboard and mouse. Uh, software that comes with this, you know, has the McAfee, which is your antivirus, spyware, all that crap. Um, also has a box free 25 gigabyte lifetime cloud storage. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but I guess I can set it up just in case, but I really doubt that I'll use it. Um, get your file, uh, it tells more about the cloud. Get your files from any internet connected device. This has Windows 8.1, which is, I'm not a big fan yet of Windows 8, but, you know, you never know. Uh, HP connected photo picture crap. I don't care too much. I don't care for all the added stuff. And music, things like that. So just basic stuff in here. So we're going to go ahead and open this box up, let you guys see what we got. Alright, let me set this down, and we'll get her opened up. Yeah, the other one I took back to Walmart. <laughs> Didn't care too much for it. Alright, let's see what we got here, right on the top here. Got power cord, I mean it's the same as before. Huh, it's got the mouse, regular power cord, that's probably for the, yeah, that'd be for the PC. That's pretty much all there is. Instructions on how to hook it up. Alright. Piece of foam. Keyboard. And most likely this is a USB quick keyboard just like with the other one. See the other one I couldn't hook up any other keyboards to it, like PS2 or anything like that. It's all USB, so that's all it's got, just a regular keyboard. Side. All right, here comes the monster of everything. There we go. Get the PC out. Put 
time at least we're opening up correctly, huh? PC upside, right side up. Yeah. And like before, I'll keep all my boxes and stuff just like I did with a Walmart one. And I boxed it all back up. Alright, there we go. There's the box for that. And that'll go in the attic. Like I said before, it's just like the other one, except for this ain't all black. It has some gray trim on the side, whereas the other one's all black. Ports in the front are the same. Got the same 7 in 1 reader here. Optical drive, power button, and your hard drive status LED. So, same thing as the other one, I mean case-wise, but you've seen in the other video what it looks like on the inside. That's what we're going to be looking at, too. All right, we'll take a look at the back side first before we open it. As you can tell, everything looks the same as before. This stuff has, the other one, this was all solid piece here, so there wasn't no expansion bays there, but this has, an, I guess, might be some expansion bays in there. I haven't looked at the board inside. Um, it has more USB ports than the other one did. The other board only had just that. didn't have these bottom sets of uh, USB ports. Still has the same VGA, DVI. This also has 5.1 surround sound, whereas the other one didn't. It only had that. Uh, okay, so well, we're going to head open this up. I got a screw there I got to get off. And let's see here. I should have had the screwdriver ready, but I guess I didn't. I believe that is a straight, yeah. It's always like a, you need a screwdriver, you can't find one. But that got that keyboard on top of that screwdriver. Look at there, guys. There it is. I'll probably change this screw up for a thumb screw instead of a screwdriver. side and then I'm gonna let you guys come with me and we'll take a look inside. Alright. Now this cost me the same price as the one at Walmart except for it ain't got the uh, monitor. Okay same price. Well the one at Walmart was $4.98 this was $5.19. Alright let's take a look inside here. And as you can tell big difference compared to what we had at Wally World. Okay big difference here I got still got the same Wi-Fi turn you around here got the Wi-Fi got actually expansion slots in here for expansion something we didn't have with the Walmart one all right much larger heat sink than compared before the other one had just a teeny tiny thing remember the last one only had two uh, dim slots this has four of them they're PCI PCI 3 or DDR 3 and also the last the uh, Walmart computer only had two uh, SATA ports this has two more unusable ports here two of them are used up by the optical drive and the actual two gigabit hard drive or two terabyte hard drive and looks like here in the front looks like we got four more slots in there I don't know if we can get around here where you guys can see it too. Let me see. Uh, just two more slots in the front. So we got two more SATA slots in the front. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six SATA slots total in this computer. So that ain't too bad neither. This is HD compatible. So that's what the DVI port. So you can go with a. Uh, Full HD, 1080p or 1080i with this. So this ain't too bad. Uh, let's see what else we got for expansion down here. So I notice we got a couple extra slots here. Oh, we actually can uh, put more USB ports on here. 
I got two more USB headers and I do have uh, headers that will fit this so we'll be able to get two more sets of headers on there and that probably be that'd be two USB ports each or that'd be another four USB ports and we got some back plating back here I can knock out and see as the other one before didn't have a power supply this actually comes with a power supply um, looks like you can't do much for putting another hard drive in here since that slot's used up but looks like before they used to have a cradle up here that would fit in here if you wanted to have expansion slots but they don't have it on this one but that's alright because if anything at all I can always take this out this motherboard and put it in a different case so I guess that ain't too biggie alright guys that's my uh, review so far and uh, we'll show you more on the operation side of the things. Alright, thank you YouTube for watching.